Bonjour, mon ami. Today on Logan Lee Adventures, I'm being whisked away thanks to check-in PR agency, the Savoy Mont Blanc, and NSC Mountains Tourism Board on a press trip through the illustrious French Alps. Press trip? Wee oui, wee. Oui. Basically, me and a bunch of other travel journalists are going to learn about this particular spot in the Savoy Mont Blanc, and then I'll get to report on it for Live the World, the travel platform that I work for. Without further I do on Eva. Made it to Annecy in France. So in Switzerland, we took a car from Geneva Airport all the way to Annecy, and we're gonna have lunch right here at this restaurant right by the riverside. It looks so beautiful. For lunch, I went to the Auberge du Lyonnaise Annecy. It's a classic restaurant right on the soulful crossroads of. Quay de la Vichy and the Rue de la République by the water. I ordered the sear arctic char with Nantes butter and chartreuse. I also had this pork which was so divine. Now don't skip out on desserts at this restaurant because nobody does desserts like the French. I went all out with the French specialties from the vanilla brioche and salted butter caramel with ice cream to a melon tartare. I mean, look at this melon tartare. It is beautiful. And the eel flontant with praline, which basically means a floating island of merengue on vanilla custard. I just, I, I don't even want to break into this because it is like a work of art, but it tastes even better. So yes, we. Oui. That was such a lovely introduction to Savoy Mont Blanc. We met up with Savoy Mont Blanc agency, the tourism agency that took care of the region. We had a spectacular lunch with all these delicious French food with locally sourced produce. And now we're going to be exploring Anase. First impression of Anase so far it is beautiful, especially during the shoulder season because you don't have that crazy peak crowd that you get during the summer. So look along this walk, this riverside walk with all these historical pastel color houses. It's just eye-catching. Look at these beautiful stone bridges. We're just walking, wandering around. And it's a nice blue sky and look, going through underneath this old underpass into the heart of the old town here. Hmm, is that romance in the air or is it just the mountains calling? Well, actually, with a historical city like Annecy, that may be one and the same. With its canals flowing throughout the old town, no wonder Annecy is known as the Venice of the Alps. This lends to its charm of pastel 16th century buildings, all these stone bridges going back to the medieval ages, and being lakeside to the shimmering Lake Annecy. To add to the soon factor, the city in southern eastern France is cradled by the Alps of the Savoy Mont Blanc region and the Annecy Mountains. What do we think of Annecy so far? It is completely so beautiful, right? And it is such a wonderful old town. But wait till you see this view of the French Alps. Look at that. With all the mountains there, and we're heading right there to it. Y'all, we have the city park here. Can you believe this is a casual city park with those mountains? And then we have this canal here with these translucent water. What? It is so beautiful here. And this is an area where you see a lot of young people come play football, skateboard, cycle, this beautiful Ferris wheel here. And I mean, I would come and picnic here too with like the views of these French Alps here. It is just so gorgeous day today. We can still see the old town where we'll, we came from, but we'll head back to over there. I love it. And then down there is the lake. The old town of Annecy is like any pedestrian-friendly dream. 
small alleyways that lead into cobblestone streets and medieval arches. No matter where I turn, the waterways all around Annecy will leave an impression. This is the Alpine Venice after all. With the canals running through the city, you can't help but feel an air of romance to it, especially since the watercolors are so light and wistfully blue. This is the oldest church in Anansi, over 600 years old, and here there's a canal running below it over into these houses. So under these houses are canals, and that's actually where Anansi gets its nickname as Venice of the Alps because of these canals. Let's go and explore inside the oldest church in the city. In this old town, I just kept noticing how there's a lot of commanding stone buildings. While it's still historical, the materials I've learned here are relatively new since Annecy buildings used to be built out of timber and straw. Now, imagine these cobblestone streets with lots of livestock running around in the wooden arcades. But alas, after several fires since the Middle Ages, Annecy was reconstructed into the stone with the stone arcade that I can see now just walking these streets. Pretty cool how huh? this is so common, these little alleyways that leads from within the old town. And then out into the street of the old town. From this bridge, I can really see all you get all those Mac highlights of Anase from this church to the mountains and like the river flowing out into the lake over there. And then this corner is just absolutely gorgeous with all these pastel houses here too. Like Venice of the Alps, I get it, I get you. Look how crystal clear, I'm not even kidding, like emerald this river is. It is gorgeous, y'all. This whole town just like blows my mind. I definitely did not expect this of NSA. It's actually way bigger than I thought as well. Y'all, a trip to the French Alps is not complete without French Alp ice cream. So we got some blueberries, some chocolate here, some sorbet. Okay, I know the blueberry is not like, it's artificial, but it's so good. Okay, we have like three mega scoops in this waffle cone. Mmm, mmm, they're so good. This is ice cream from the Alps. Like the dairy made and brewed here. Next up, we visited the palace of Les Îles. It's actually its own little island that's separated by the Theo River. This is a historic monument that goes all the way back to the 1900s. So as I'm exploring this stone ship-shaped building, I soon discovered, well, how the name palace is kind of deceiving since the place is actually a prison. I mean, I guess you can tell right away. The dungeons that you can step into are the exact same preserved space that many have been held in before while the museum takes me through this history of Annecy. This is the courtyard and these are the dungeons and it's in its well-preserved state. Now we're exploring the inner walls of the castle that overlooks Anase, but actually it's in the heart of Anase as well. 
As the sun slowly starts to set around the French Alps, the temperature drops, but the evening gets into full swing. What a view of Annecy. About a 30 minute drive up these winding mountain roads of Annecy is Le Rocher's Blancs in La Semnoy. We're here to our hotel. Now we're gonna go check in. I mean, look how beautiful this authentic Alp experience with rustic wood, red and white checker table setting and intimate alpage interior is. I mean, whatever the weather is outside, this place is so cozy on the inside. Checking into Le Rocher's Blanc, which is this super, super beautiful seasonal alpine hotel right above NSA. You see, it's like all wooden. Like, I feel like I'm in a little cozy chateau in the mountains, which, all right, I, I, I am, yeah. Everything is made of wood, even the, the ceilings. And I love these little alpine details to it. This. Now, while this hotel is perfect for all of your winter sport when you're going skiing in the French Alps, it is also just perfect for the shoulder season, like this autumn. I mean, the views is spectacular. You can see the mountain range so clearly and get a check, have your pick of your room because it's not all filled up as it would be in peak season. repping the Savoy Mont Blanc beanie. It is so cute. This is perfect for autumn, the season, but also for winter. I love it. Look at this pom pom. Ready for this evening's activities. So I can't wait. So we're gonna walk out into the Alpine Meadows to start the evening with the whole team of travel journalists and the press agency. So yeah, let's go. How cute! I can't stop touching it. <laughs> the locals of Annecy knows how to balance the city life with a good old life in the mountains. And that's what we're going to be doing as well. So, let me just strap on my, well just my shoes because I don't have hiking boots. <laughs> Fill up my water bottle and then head into the heart of the Alps. Bien, et je serai votre guide. My name is Julien. And uh, we are going to walking the mountain. Uh, it's a little mountain. Uh, the top of the top is uh, 100, uh, 360, uh, plutôt sympa. After we go down and after uh, walking the forest. Starting our meadow walk, you can see our hotel right there. But you can also see Mont Blanc, which is so incredible. That is so clear enough that you can see it from here. This is so gorgeous. Just the lighting, just the views of the literally panoramic views of we got some Italian Alps there, some French Alps here, some Swiss Alps there. It is just absolutely phenomenal up top here. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Okay, I know that that was in Austria and went to Switzerland, but the Alps is the Alps, right? And the Swiss Alps is it's over there. That counts. The hills are so alive. <laughs> Every time I'm on a press trip, experiences like this, no matter how big, whether it's Alps or small little towns and villages, I'm always so grateful because it is such a privilege to be taken around these local beautiful spots and be shown the best of the best of this, these places, of this region. And I'm just always so touched by it.
especially with moments like this. I mean, breathtaking, right? Savoy Mont Blanc. And now we're going through a downhill walk at sunset through the forest. And apparently, we have a whole mountain guide. And you saw Julian, that's our mountain guide, with his adorable husky. And apparently he says that there is a surprise for us at the bottom of our forest walk. So I'm curious, we have no clue what it is. And just taking in, of course, the sights and the views. Sunset is just spectacular here. Is this golden, golden light that just shines and everything that it touches is just makes everything even more magnificent than the beauty it holds in nature already. <sighs> Honestly, Savoy Mont Blanc, you have my heart already. It's incredible that it's just our team of journalists here and there's nobody else around. Except me. <laughs> yeah, but you are not here. <laughs> wow. Look at the lake. Yep, thank you. That's the lake <laughs> right there of NSA. Yep. Yeah. Genevrier. Genevrier. For the choucroute. Yeah. Choucroute. 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 Yeah. choucroute. choucroute. Uh, if you want to test, you see here. Ça fait penser au poivre. Salt ah, and um, ah, pepper. Oui. pepper yeah. Yeah. Ah. Do you eat it? <laughs> or is it just for tasting? <laughs> After. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you know this uh, dandelion. Oh, but it's in the gym. Yeah. 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 If you're on heat, it's possible. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Some vinegar. Vinegar. Well, no. vinegar. That's you know ants, y'all. When you touch the uh, the hut like this, yeah. you the ants get excited, and you put your hand just on the top like this, and yes. it smells vinegar. Yeah. You try oh, that? Really? Yeah. 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 It's uh, it's very strange. Go for it. Well, I don't want to destroy their their huts, but. Uh, Et toi, quand elle attaque, <laughs> alors, alors là, il fait un peu froid. Ouais. Et souvent, elles se mettent sur leur elles se mettent sur leurs pattes arrière. Ouais. Elle retourne la domaine. So you just touch yeah, it like that. It's a bit less. It's a bit frais. It's a bit Elle closer. Commence à être un peu endormi, toi. You just put your hand like this, very close. Okay. Mais là, il faudrait vraiment qu'on les excite. A little bit, you can smell a little bit, but you have to touch it like this. Voilà. And then smell your hand, maybe. Oh, it is very vinegary. Yeah, it's very, yeah, it's very vinegary. Wow! Oh my gosh, okay, now I think that's the real, real surprise. <gasps> Those fairy lights. This is an incredible experience deep in the forest as well. Like, you can't find this on a map. It's even if you want to, like this is just truly something so magical. There's like a hut there for the bar. There's a campfire. There's this tent with already intimately dimly lit candles. It is like something out of my fairy tale dreams here. And then look at this. I love this too. Just put your name or draw something, whatever, and you have to keep it for the whole night. Yeah. Your coffee mm -hmm. tonight, your tea if you want, All will be the in the same cup. Okay? My wine, everything. <laughs> <laughs> in the same cup. Because here we don't have water, no. so we don't wash it, mm -hmm. so we have to bring it back. So that's why we try to limit the, all the, you know, go, the dishes. Uh, you have like three um, uh, drinks mm -hmm. for now and for the dinner. Uh, hot drinks are not are included. Here you have a little a little uh, buffet. <coughs> on the on the left, there's like uh, hot water, tea, uh, herbal tea, coffee. That's all free, okay. And you have a little 
chocolate stuff you can eat. This little one. And then you have three different cheese really from here. Uh, L'Abondance, le Beaufort, and uh, the other one is called La Meule, Meule de Savoie. There are different kinds of cheese. Uh, and here you'll find saucisson, like sausage. This one is with cheese. There's little um, little uh, pieces on the slices on the on the, the other one. It's with the hazelnut inside. Okay. Yeah. This is called a beer beer squid because it's a biscuit made of beer. Huh? Yeah. You know the the um, the mouth the the yeah, yeah. Blend, the thing you keep yeah. you keep which is uh, left out from the yeah. beer you don't take. Then you put like uh, flour and everything, and they do like a. But it do it doesn't really taste like beer. Ah, okay. No, it's okay. And this is like um, pastries with cheese as well. Okay. Okay. What are you getting? The hot wine. Oh, nice! With all the spices. Yep. Oh my goodness. This is incroyable. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. With uh, garlic. The summer soup is the starter. Then we'll have. <laughs> it's just regular normal water from Annecy. Okay, it's not hot water. We put it in these uh, bottles because of the insects and in the. In Perfect. Okay? It's uh, with alcohol. No. It's uh, alcohol and uh, an apple called La Chèvre, the goat. It's uh, something very special from Savoie. And uh, it's quite cool. It's a bit of alcohol for the desserts. Okay. To help the uh, trou normal. The digestive? The digestive comes after, but. It's the first one. It's the name between. Yeah. yeah. We call, call it a trou normal, like a Norman hole. A hole. I don't know why. It's usually what you have when you do many, many, many dishes, you know, during a meal. Oh, yeah. you, you stop with a little bit of alcohol, so yeah. it's. It, Makes you digest yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a kind of foam, yeah. cream, so you have to drink it yeah. quite fast and it don't shot. wait. <laughs> shot. Down. Yeah, cream shot. Can I put it in your. Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Patron. Yeah. You're welcome. So, normally, we put it directly in the mouth. Oh my god. But oh. provide the. <laughs> I put it here. Just a little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it smells really good. It's like apple. Yeah. 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 No, no, it's not good. It's a 16, 15 or 16 uh, mm. percent. Yeah, it is. Oh. So you can tell? Uh, mm. 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 We go back with the oh torch. Oh my god, it's so cool. En plus, il y a plus de torches maintenant. Ah, allez. Trop beau. Merci. Wow. Vous êtes allumé. Ah. Vos flambeaux. Merci. 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 Google Maps, not really. On Google. Like so cool. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Very atmospheric. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
This is so epic. So as our final surprise of the night, we have these torches. So we're going to be walking back to our hotel with these torches through the woods as well where we came from. Of this like oh. off-season experience. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's good to be able to do some uh, things like that even in, even in September. Cause because people don't of... really think about it when it's like, you know, like the high seasons or summer or winter for certain destinations. But exactly. of course, like there's still things going on in October and September. just got back to our hotel and I'm going to be resting for the night because this is only the first day of four days on our press trip throughout Suavoy Mont Blanc around the Anase area and it's been incredible first day already I cannot believe we went from Amsterdam all the way to Geneva Geneva all the way to France and then now we're here and all the things that we explored. So after our torch walk back, we had this right in front of our hotel, it's like clear opening. And I wish I can capture it, y'all. I wish I can capture it and show it to you, but you're just gonna have to imagine it. Just some things in life cannot be captured and just be brought to justice because it's so clear here. If you ever wanna see the stars and the Milky Way, this place is it like it's sitting outside it's you can see the milky way running through the night sky and the twinkling of the stars and i've never seen the big dipper so bright before it was just jaw dropping and i'm like holding my torch like we're in a cult i was just like so beautiful and it has been a fantastic first day on our press trip so far stay tuned for day two day three and day four because more things are gonna come we're gonna explore the beauty that this area has and i'm gonna take you all along for the ride